Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. Jannah, also known as Paradise or Heaven, plays a central role in Islamic theology and beliefs about the afterlife. In Islam, Jannah represents the ultimate destination for faithful individuals who have lived righteous lives according to Allah's God's guidance and the principles of Islam. Here are key aspects and descriptions of Jannah in Islamic belief. Eternal joy. Jannah is described as an abode of everlasting happiness and contentment. Those who enter paradise will experience ceaseless delight, peace and gratification. Scenic beauty. Jannah is often depicted as a place of extraordinary natural beauty, featuring lush gardens, flowing rivers and breathtaking landscapes. It is a realm where believers will relish the finest of natural surroundings. Exquisite cuisine and beverages. In Jannah, individuals will be provided with the most delectable and abundant food and drink, surpassing anything they have ever experienced in their earthly life. Perpetual youthfulness. The inhabitants of Jannah will enjoy eternal youth and vigor, never aging or suffering from physical ailments. Pure companionship. Believers in Jannah will have the company of virtuous and righteous beings. Some interpretations suggest that this includes the companionship of loved ones, friends and other devout individuals. Freedom from suffering. Within Jannah, there is an absence of pain, suffering or hardship. Believers will be exempt from any form of distress or discomfort. Proximity to Allah. One of the most significant rewards in Jannah is the nearness to Allah. Believers will have the privilege of seeing and being in the presence of God, considered the ultimate source of joy and fulfillment. Reward for righteousness. Jannah is the reward for those who have genuinely believed in Allah, adhered to his commandments and performed virtuous deeds during their earthly lives. The concept of earning a place in paradise through faith and good deeds is fundamental in Islam. Multiple levels. Islamic tradition speaks of Jannah having various levels or ranks, with each level being more elevated and blissful than the one below it. The highest level is reserved for the most virtuous and devout believers. Descriptive analogies. The Quran occasionally uses descriptive analogies to convey the pleasures of Jannah by likening them to familiar human experiences, such as gardens, rivers and palaces. These descriptions aim to offer believers a glimpse of the joys that await them. Descriptions of Jannah are often metaphorical and beyond human comprehension. Jannah is viewed as a reward for the faith and virtuous actions of believers, and the specific nature of these rewards is believed to be beyond human imagination. Muslims strive to lead righteous lives, aspiring to attain Jannah in the afterlife, and their faith in it serves as a source of inspiration and spiritual guidance.